Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 63, the day before tax day. I hope you guys are all done. Um, mine go out in the mail tomorrow. All got good stuff. Um, but that's neither here nor there, especially for people that aren't in the United States and not filing taxes here. I don't know. Do other countries have tax day November or April 15th? Agenda. Triage, and from the looks of triage, that won't take us very long, so we'll do that. And then we will do any questions, comments, although we have the usual suspects, so I'm not sure what we're going to have today. On that note, uh, triage. Bob, you ready to go to the web? I am ready. All right, here we go. Bug number one, setting ball override throws an exception, something like that, which I guess doesn't surprise me. We'll find a number of these. Um, you can go ahead and give this to Fire Giant. I will make sure we clean that up in there. There's a bunch of things to do. All right. Wix UI don't validate path has no effect on browse dialog in Wix UI installed error. Mm. I guess I can see that. Um, let's see if I can actually see that. Wow. This has been here forever, wouldn't it be? Like Well, since that attribute or sorry, property uh was was added. Yeah, yeah, we we don't uh sure enough. That's not gonna work so good, huh? Well, I remember when that property was added, and it's yeah, it's interesting. The, there was a very narrow use case of oh, you don't able to validate the path. Yeah, yeah, we validate oh. by default because you know if you can't access it at that point, um, well, you're not going to be able to access it if you know MSI goes to install something there. Um, but uh, but it was primarily a yeah we're not going to install anything there it's just we need a path to go into the registry and we want to let you browse and even if it's no good we want to still let you write that path to the registry so I'm like eh, okay um, but I you know it was uh, a don't validate rather than an opt opt in you could opt out. All right, uh, but yeah, sure enough, we we did not uh, we did not make that optional for browse dialog. Uh, Sounds like a straightforward thing to fix in three X. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm not going to worry about that one. Slight behavior change, but. Uh, Mm, no, that's it's worth. Yeah, right. Sure, it wasn't a design decision. <laughs> um, no, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, and you know, certainly, certainly, you can argue that if you're browsing to something, it should validate. Um. No, the browse dialog has all the you know the funky Windows 3X era controls <laughs> to let you go bra browsing. Well, they are. Come on, they are. They are. They are. The old folder icons and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It's very old school looking. Um, so it's it, it's weird. I mean, if you if you browse to something, I, the only way it's going to trigger, I think, is. I forget exactly what the custom action does, but I think it basically just says, I think it has to be a quote-unquote fixed disk, so you can't browse to, like, a USB drive. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. But, yeah, actually, no, you're right. The The normal path would validate only the text that you put into that, you know, the path edit control. Hmm. Yeah. 
Well, again, I, I'm, yeah. To an extent, if you say, no, don't validate my stuff, well, then, you know, you're kind of, you're kind of asking for things that might not be validated. Um, I wouldn't mind if we made this a four feature. Yeah, you know, just because there is a slight behavior change, but I'm fine with that too. The question is, where do you want to put it? Three X or four X? Um, let's put it in four. Safer there. It's yeah, yeah, three cool. percent. Cool, easy, easy, easy. What's going on, peoples? Yeah, Jacob, that's exactly right. <laughs> Going to browse to a valid location. <laughs> That's fair. Yes, but you maybe want to browse to a location that isn't valid, but you, and you don't want it validated. Or maybe your definition of valid is different than ours. I don't know. Yeah. It, um, yeah. I, there's a like I said, very narrow use case. So. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Uh, any other questions? Things like that. Um, I know we're talking about pull requests every week and things like that. I know Jacob and Sean are having an interesting discussion about a pull request. Um, that looks interesting things like that, so um, things are kind of moving bits and pieces all around. I'm Life is getting slowly back to normal here, it's not so craziness, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, and 3x the PR, right? Cool. So, yeah, stuff going on. Oh, the updates, update feed? Yep. 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 I've noticed that before, the Update feed ends up being leaked. Yeah. Ooh, but yes, good to clean up after ourselves. Anything else people want to talk about? Anything else going on? It's pretty simple. Like I said, I expected this to be a short meeting given how few bugs we had and things that are going on. Um, stuff's happening. So, all right. Well, given that, I think we'll all just go about and go do work, get things done. Um, and until next week, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.